Welcome to today's lecture where we're going to discuss organelles within the cell that help to store, clean up, and or support the cell itself. So these are the functions of these different parts of the cell. We're going to discuss vacuoles. We're going to discuss lysosomes. We're going to talk about the cytoskeleton. And the cytoskeleton has two major parts that make it up, microtubules and microfilaments. So these are all the organelles that we're going to talk about today. First, let's start with vacuoles. Vacuoles help to store material. Okay, they're kind of like the storage tanks within a cell. Plants have a very large um, central vacuole, is what it's called, and this is to help them store a lot of water. Um, plants, unlike animals, cannot move from place to place to get water when there's a drought. So plants need a place to be able to store this water. So they do that, first of all, in the large central vacuole. The second function of the large central vacuole is actually to help the plant with some of its shape. As the plant fills up, excuse me, as the central vacuole fills up with liquid, it starts to push against the edges of the cell. And as it pushes against the edges of the cell, it makes it very rigid and it helps the plant to stand up. For many of you, you have probably seen this happen uh, when you've had a plant that started to wilt and you just actually give it a little more water and when you give it water, it starts to perk right back up. And that's because those central vacuoles are actually filling up with liquid and making the plant a lot more rigid. So vacuoles will store material. It can be anything, but for the most part in plants, in their central vacuole, it's going to be waters, okay? There are also vacuoles that can move things around the cell, and as they start moving things around the cell from place to place, a lot of times we will refer to those as vesicles, okay? So vacuoles are our storage containers within the cell. Now, some of the vacuoles have some enzymes in them. And the vacuoles with enzymes located in them are actually called lysosomes. So our lysosomes are vacuoles that contain enzymes. Now we know that enzymes help speed up chemical reactions or help chemical reactions happen a little bit faster um, by dropping that activation energy. So because these are vacuoles with enzymes, we have chemical reactions happening inside the lysosomes. Sometimes it's the ability of the lysosomes to break down waste. Okay, so what it's going to do is it's going to take any waste materials, organelles that aren't working anymore, anything that the cell does not need anymore. The lysosome is going to take, it's going to break it down, and when it breaks it down, it will then release the waste from the cell. Okay. So the first thing that it can do is break down waste, but it can also actually break down things that the cell needs. So we've talked polymers and monomers before. Polymers are long chains of organic compounds, okay? And our monomers are the individual pieces. And when we break those apart, we, we break the polymers apart, we end up with monomers, okay? So when we break down polysaccharides, of carbohydrates, we can break it down into monosaccharides, into glucose, and then our cells can use that glucose to produce the energy. Or we can break a protein down into amino acids, and our body can actually take those amino acids to build a different protein that we need. So the second function of lysosomes is to take and break down something that our cell is going to use again, and as we break it down, we release it out into the cell so that the cell can then, into the places in the cell where it's needed, so that the cell can use those pieces again. So a lysosome will break down waste materials and release it from the cell, or it will break down things that the cell needs into smaller pieces so that the cell can utilize those smaller pieces. The final structure we're gonna talk about today is the cytoskeleton. <clears throat> the cytoskeleton helps maintain the shape of the cell, and also sometimes it helps with movement within the cell. There are two parts of the cytoskeleton. The cytoskeleton is made up of microfilaments, 
which are going to be thread-like structures, and microtubules, which are going to be hollow tube-like structures. Okay? One way you can remember that is that the tubes are tubules. Microtubules and microfilaments are the thread-like structures. Now the two of these work together, much like if you've ever seen a circus tent or something, a tent that's being held up both by poles and then they have the strings coming out that hold it into the correct shape. The microtubules and the microfilaments work together much in the same fashion to help keep, give the cell its shape and also provide a little bit of movement. The microtubules can also make up three other different types of structures within the cell. First of all, it can make up the cilia. And cilia are going to be small structures around the outside of a cell. So if we have a cell here, we might have these small hair-like structures around the outside of the cell. And the cell actually will use these to help them move around. So these small thread, like, uh, sorry, these small tubes, okay, that are gonna be hair-like structures actually help the cell to move around, okay? There's a second structure that helps plants move, uh, cells move around also, and those are called flagella. Now flagella are much longer and they're whip-like, and a lot of times you will see one or two off the back of a cell. And what they do is they whip from back, back and forth and they help the cell to move through a liquid structure. So we have cilia, which are small hair-like structures. They're very small. And then the flagella are the long whip-like projections. They both help with movement. The last structure that's a microtubule is what's called a centriole. And the centrioles help in animal cell reproduction. We will get into that um, at a later point in time. But basically what the centrioles do are they take and help separate the chromosomes in animal cell reproduction or mitosis and meiosis. So we'll get into that later. So to wrap it up, we've talked about vacuoles, which are our storage tanks, lysosomes, which help to break down things within the cell that we need in either smaller places or waste. And then our cytoskeleton, which helps provide structure, maintain shape, and provide movement for the cell.